Our cosmic home is constantly on the move. It has been known for some time that this applies not only to the individual structures of space, but also to the universe as a whole. With every second that passes, the universe continues to expand. However, the cosmos does not expand thereby into an existing space. It is rather the space itself which increases incessantly. This realization was derived in the first half of the 20th century from the observation of the so-called galaxy escape. This means that gravitationally bound collections of stars that are very far away from us will continue to move further and further away from us in the future. However, this principle cannot be applied to those clustered star worlds that are practically right on our earthly doorstep. On the contrary, in fact, we are already on a direct collision course with the Andromeda Galaxy. In today's video, we'll show you when we expect the two galaxies to crash and which consequences will go along with it. Want to learn more about the groundbreaking discoveries and distinctive spectacles in the universe on a regular basis? Then remember to subscribe to Simply Space and click on the bell to stay up to date from now on. By giving us a thumbs up, you're motivating us and showing that we can keep you engaged with the content of our videos. Andromeda Galaxy No other collection of stars reaches as close to our local Milky Way as the Andromeda Galaxy. Located in the eponymous constellation Andromeda, the distance between us and the spiral galaxy is about 2.5 million light years. As a result of this spatial constellation, Andromeda is the most distant structure that can be seen with the naked eye in the firmament under favorable conditions. A closer look at the conditions prevailing in our neighboring galaxy shows that the Milky Way and Andromeda share some common features. This is true not only for the spiral structure, but also for the astronomical objects that cavort in the gravitationally bound assemblages. The Andromeda Galaxy, which is also known as M31 for short, is sometimes adorned by dark dust areas in which new stars are constantly being born. In the outer regions, we find hundreds of globular clusters, while the glistening bright celestial bodies in the corresponding areas still present themselves in the form of spherically symmetric condensations. It is also possible to observe single stars of the Andromeda Galaxy. In the meantime, it's considered certain that almost every galaxy center is adorned by a supermassive black hole, and our galactic neighbor is no exception. The gravity monster there has a mass of about 100 million solar masses, which makes it much more imposing than our Sagittarius A star. But that's not the only area where Andromeda impresses with its dimensions. Its halo, the nearly spherical area in the center of which the star cluster is embedded, has an extension of more than one million light years. In this respect, our galactic neighbor is the largest representative of the local group. Our own Milky Way is also part of this galaxy group and together with the Andromeda Galaxy, it's the most massive member. Speaking of mass, the total mass of the Andromeda Galaxy is currently estimated to be between 0.7 and 2.5 trillion solar masses, with stars again accounting for 100 billion solar masses. The mass of the Milky Way is in turn estimated at about 1.5 trillion solar masses. Although Andromeda has been studied for some time, it was not until the late 19th century that astronomers were able to identify it as a spiral structure. In the telescopes of the past, the object presented itself mostly as a diffuse nebular structure, which is why to this day, you'll hear the Andromeda Nebula spoken of again and again. Further investigation was to raise our general knowledge of the universe to a completely new level. In time, astronomers realized that such spiral-shaped formations are in fact independent galaxies that lie outside the Milky Way. What seems to be self-evident today amounted to an astronomical revolution at the time, because actually, the experts did not know until then that beside our Milky Way, there were other galaxies in the cosmos. In fact, the Milky Way and Andromeda are already in the process of colliding with each other and creating a new star world together. Collision of the Galaxies there is now no doubt that the Milky Way and the Andromeda Galaxy will one day collide. 
Even if it's not perceptible to us, the two entities are chasing each other at this very moment at a speed of about 70 miles per second. As a result, a galactic collision is inevitable in the distant future. But is this future crash also synonymous with a massive catastrophe? Will the individual celestial bodies of the two galaxies crash into each other and set off an explosive chain reaction? Well, even if none of us will witness this event, the experts can fortunately give the all clear in this respect. The often cited Andromeda Milky Way collision is in fact a merger. A new elliptical galaxy will emerge from the previous spiral galaxies. In reference to the English name Milky Way and the last part of Andromeda, this new emerging star world is called Milkomeda by some astronomers. Collisions of stars in the course of the galaxy merger are to be expected only in the rarest of cases. Too enormous are the distances gaping between the celestial body. This is valid also for the densely populated areas of both galaxies. So, all that will be destroyed in the galactic merger are the original spiral superstructures by which both structures are currently characterized. But when do we have to expect this event? The current forecasts of the experts show that the time of the collision will arrive in about 3 to 4 billion years. A few months ago, however, collaborators from the universities of Notre Dame and Yale came to the conclusion that the galactic merger has already begun. Galactic Cloth Contact Even if we may still enjoy our independent Milky Way for millions of years, we should already keep one thing in mind. The boundaries of the universe are anything but clear. This already becomes evident to us when we take a look at our blue home planet, the so-called exosphere, or in other words, the outer layer of the Earth's atmosphere, does not have a clearly defined boundary. Instead, the planet's invisible protective shell becomes thinner and thinner in its outermost regions, so that it ultimately merges smoothly into interplanetary space. What is true on a relatively small scale can also be applied to the larger constructs of the cosmos. As already mentioned, the actual galaxies are enclosed by a gigantic halo. Accordingly, within this almost spherical area, we come across the embedded star streams and globular clusters. The gravitational envelope is completed by gigantic gas deposits and dark matter. But how do the dimensions of the Andromeda galaxy present themselves in detail? To get closer to the answer to this exciting question, the experts completed the most detailed survey of the Andromeda halo to date. The result? The structure extends about 1.3 million light years in the direction of the Milky Way. To put this into perspective, this distance corresponds to about half of the actual distance that currently prevails between the two galaxies. In this respect, the experts assume that also the halo of the Milky Way extends comparably far, which means in the reverse conclusion that the galactic spheres of influence are already in close contact. In the course of the investigation, the researchers determined not only the dimensions of the Andromeda halo, but also its structure. Thus we know now that this is composed of two layers, which interlock shell-like, much like an onion. While the gas in the outer layer is still quite evenly distributed, the inner area is much more dynamic. This circumstance is attributed to the effects of explosive stellar deaths. In the course of supernovae, enormous amounts of material are catapulted out of the galactic disk. This leads to the fact that also the halo is enriched with heavy elements, among them silicon, carbon, and oxygen. But how does one actually survey a construct that itself emits virtually no radiation? To reveal the dimensions of the Andromeda halo, scientists used a clever trick. In the course of the Amiga project, they examined the emitted UV light from more than 40 distant quasars. From our terrestrial point of view, the active galactic nuclei are all located behind the Andromeda galaxy. Where the UV light from the quasars hits the Andromeda halo, it is partially swallowed. As a result of these observations, it's possible to determine what material is responsible and how far it extends into space. If we were able to see the halo of our galactic neighbor with the naked eye, it would represent the largest structure in the firmament. However, since this is impossible without technical aids, 
Andromeda is only visible as a small light spot, which has the shape of a cigar, a circumstance that will change as a result of the galaxy fusion in some billion years. It will be a long time until it has reached that point, however. Once the galactic fusion has been set in motion, another three billion years will pass before the newly formed galaxy is fully developed. Besides the assumption that it will be an elliptical construct, there is also the assumption that Milkomeda will present itself as a polar ring galaxy. While the merger is commonly known as the Andromeda-Milky Way collision, we should not disregard the third, less prominent merger partner. For in fact, it's possible that the Triangulum Galaxy will also participate in this stunning process. Located in the eponymous constellation Triangle, this construct attains a brightness of 5.7 mag, making it the second brightest spiral galaxy in the firmament after Andromeda. Now we want your opinion. What do you think about the future Andromeda-Milky Way collision? As always, write us your thoughts, suggestions, and feedback on today's video in the comments below. Are you in the mood for more exciting contributions on the topic of outer space? Then take a look at the other videos on our channel, which you can access by clicking on one of the images in the credits. Thanks for your interest, take care, and we'll see you next time.